What's up? Okay, so now we are over here in Adobe Illustrator, and I have already moved my reference in. And as you can see here, I've pretty much recreated it. So basically, this is how I did it. Uh, you can see it here in the step process, but we're going to go through it anyway, just so that you can see how I did it. <clears throat> So the first thing we did, it I do is I grab the ellipse tool and I just find the center and I just drag it out. Um, I only use the outline here. There's no <clears throat> no fill, and then I just kind of drag it till I see that it looks about right. And so you'll notice here that I leave this big space here. And the reason for that is this emblem is, I think, three-dimensional. So this here is like the edge of a coin. Okay? So because it, it, so the, the logo is kind of tilted back. And so um, I left that because I will add that effect in uh, Photoshop if I need it. Because the photo or the background in Photoshop may not need it. So I'm just making the actual uh, logo and then I'm leaving the uh, the effects out. I'll do that stuff in Photoshop. And then uh, we need another one. And I hold Alt-Shift to kind of uh, make it grow from evenly from its middle. You can also hold Shift and make it grow from a corner in one in two directions evenly anyway let's go ahead and get this correct be placed and this is just me you know obviously this logo is uh the property of i think it's gearbox but i could be wrong um but i didn't want to take somebody else's creation of it. I would rather do it myself. It's good practice for myself and it's also uh, kind of creative, right? So like I'm taking their work and I'm kind of reproducing it for a creative purpose. Uh, so there's a little bit of like creative commons section in there. There's kind of a gray area. Um, so this seems this is pretty close you can keep playing with it like you can see a little bit of white here so maybe this needs to go to the left a little this one might need to come that one's fine I think this one might need to go to the right a little no I think that should stay there Okay, and then I grab the line tool. So you could do this with the pen tool, but at first what I wanted to do is make sure that this line here was straight because uh, you can't see behind the Borderlands 2 text. So what I did is I went to, see like the curve kind of stops about here, and then I, whoops. And you can click and then drag your line. And if you just keep it along the path in uh, following this shape here, you just wanna keep that as good as you can. And then make sure you go all the way through this circle. When I first did it, I actually stopped at the path and then uh, later on there's a problem that happens. So you just wanna make sure you go all the way through. And then you can just do the same thing here. Again, following the edge. And then, honestly, you don't even need to follow it here. What you need to do is follow it here, down below the text. And then you can just kind of line it up, make sure it's kind of the way you want it. Same thing over here. And same thing here. Yeah, and then I grabbed the pen tool and I clicked here and here and see how it connected those pieces. And then I can hold alt and I can pull this up 
and I just pulled it up to where I want it and then I grab these handles and I adjust. I think I want that angle to be a little bit wider. See now it looks like it's a more proper angle at least with the logo. Then we'll connect these two do the same thing and see how it's kind of an angle we don't or at least a sharp point we don't, I don't like that. Now I'm kind of thinking that maybe this needs to come this way a little more. So there's something not quite right about that angle. And then we can bring it down a little bit. Okay. That seems about right. So you end up with this. Okay, so as, as of right now, you can't do anything with this really because everything's not connected. So we're going to select it all. And I went to the Shape Builder tool, which is also Shift M. And I just, if you hold it down, it selects this ring. And then in here, it selects that. And now you have an actual shape going here. You're going to need to do some cleanup. Because if you look over here in the Layers section, you got all of these pieces. And so you're like, well, what happened here? So what you can kind of do is if you shut this off... Like, oh, that outer ring's gone. But if you notice, all of this other stuff is selected. I actually just, you could tell from these little things, but basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn off uh, each one to kind of see where they are. You could even select it and then be like, oh, you don't need that piece. And then you come up to this one and you'd be like, all right, uh, I don't need that one. Oh, yep, don't need that one. Don't need that one. Okay, and see now you have this shape here. And you're like, mm, is that going to affect the actual shape? Just go ahead and turn it off with the visual layer and see. Does it make it? No, the shape's still there. So let's go ahead and turn that one off. Same thing here. I'm going to select that. It's kind of that inner tool. That inner shape. So you just got to do the same thing. Turn that visual off. Eh, it seems like it's fine still. So we're going to go ahead and just select. Delete. Same thing going on to this one. Looks like it's not affecting anything. Go ahead and delete it. Same thing here. Again. And then now we're left with this shape right there. See? There we go. And if you compare them, I am actually, uh, there's something else that I did. So we went ahead and we're gonna go ahead and select this. And I hit control. And you're gonna, I'm gonna go in and check to see how this space looks here. And I'm gonna be completely honest and say that I may like this portion up here more than this one. I'm not quite sure on that yet. Let's go ahead and just drag it over just to make a take a look. It's slightly. They're very close to the same. Very, very close. Okay, final touch here. Again, like I said, hold control. You're gonna select this little round portion here. Whoops, I didn't need to do that. Go ahead and select that one. And then this one, hold sh control and sh you're still holding control. And then hold shift now, and now you have both of those selected. And that means you can select these as you need to roll them and you may want this on to match the angle. You can't see this one here, but you can match it with this one, and that's why you roll them at the same. This one's okay, maybe a little bit too much. OK. 
Okay, and then we're going to do the same again here. We're going to hit Control for this one, and then Shift on this one. And we're going to just roll it in. And this one might not be quite right, so you can just hit Control on its own. If you let go, it'll deselect all of them, and then just kind of slide it a little bit more. And then let's deselect, and that's a pretty good shape there. And we're going to just call it done there, and we're going to take this shape and uh, save. We're going to export as a PNG. We don't need this one, this one, or this one. We're going to take recreation one, and... I have it set up for this folder, export it, and now we have the PNG set up, and we will take this back to Photoshop, drop it on that uh, background that we did, the orange and uh, yellowish, and then we'll start chopping up uh, that background picture that we had to take the elements that we want, and... Uh, yeah, so we're going to move on to the next process. So basically, uh, we've done the planning. We've kind of picked the images that we wanted. We recreated the background. We recreated the logo. And now we're going to need to chop up uh, the background pieces and get them prepared for animating. There is another step that I'd like to do, which is uh, I'll show you in Photoshop but basically the background has some texture to it. It has some like scratches and some, maybe some dust or dents in it, you can see. And uh, I'll, you'll see that once we get back over into Photoshop and I'll show you those pieces and we're gonna have to kind of recreate that. All right, I'll see you over in Photoshop.